Emma is an undergraduate student and just found a research topic she is excited about. She has her research question and is ready to get to work. Emma could dive headfirst into the scientific or engineering details needed to answer her research question. But will she understand how her research fits into the bigger picture? Will she know what impact the work will have on stakeholders or even consumers? Emma has a lot of passion, but she needs to think about how her research impacts the broader context before she can get started. To gain this understanding, we need to use what is known as an entrepreneurial mindset, or EM for short. This mindset can help give Emma a framework for asking the right questions in her research. So first, how can you approach a research problem with EM? An EM is characterized by identifying the following. The opportunity. Emma needs to understand the unmet need that she is trying to address with her research in the potential market. The research design. Emma needs to think about how her research is designed and how it will lead to a possible solution. And the impact on the stakeholder. Emma needs to be able to identify and communicate the possible value of her solution. As Emma starts her research project, the most important element for her to understand is the opportunities that her research can lead to. And she can understand them by asking a lot of questions, such as, what are the possible applications of this project? Who are the stakeholders? People who would be interested in my results or the technologies that can be developed with my work? What are their needs? And what are the competing technologies for alternate solutions for this problem? Emma's research is focused on clean energy. Her first project task from her graduate student mentor is to complete some software training, download a machine learning package on her computer, and try to write a code to run the machine learning algorithms using a sample data set from her mentor. What? How could this machine learning stuff possibly have anything to do with clean energy? But then Emma remembers the entrepreneurial mindset. What are the possible applications of this work? And who are the possible stakeholders? To find out more, Emma decides to ask her mentor why she needs to do this work. He explains that they are using a machine learning algorithm to predict the lifetime of lithium-ion batteries. Lithium-ion batteries are applied in many devices, but can be used in electric cars as well as for the energy storage for renewable power technologies like solar and wind. If successful, the code that Emma is writing could be used to do various things like design better discharge and recharge cycles to maximize the lifetime of battery systems, which will in turn impact the stakeholders making it possible to have cars drive farther or store more renewable energy. Knowing how her assignment impacts the stakeholders and consumers helps Emma understand why it's important to learn software and write the code to run the machine learning algorithms. There are other ways that Emma can grow in her entrepreneurial mindset as she works on her assignments in the lab. She can ask around the lab about who is interested in the work they are doing. From this, she learns group members have collaborated with researchers at the Toyota Research Institute, one of many automotive industry stakeholders for this research. Or she could also read about other ways research is being done in this field. From downloading literature on lithium ion batteries, Emma learns there are also laboratory protocols for accelerated testing to predict battery life. Her machine learning solution would have to deliver results more quickly or more accurately to be competitive. With this in mind, are you ready to start working on your own research project with the entrepreneurial mindset? Every research assignment should begin by asking the four questions that open the door to EM. What is the opportunity? Who are the stakeholders? Are there any competitive solutions? And what is the impact of my research? So join Emma and look at your research problem to make a broader impact with an entrepreneurial mindset.